the Israelite school of universal practical knowledge under commanding General Yohanna presents the Big 5 -0. Oh, oh, oh. The 50th annual Lord's Passover, Saturday, April 20th at sundown. But I'm here to tell you one thing. Whatsoever life you got, you better go out there and do the will of the Most High like it has never been done before. And see you The 50th annual Lord's Passover, Saturday, April 20th at sundown. Shalom. Until we had experimented with the surgeries on Betsy and her fellow slaves for years. This seems essay to cure white women. Until he had cut that sister open and found out what was going on, that's the only time he decided to treat white women. You understand the kind of horrific things we went through under this white man? Imagine all these young sisters walking around and a white man just come take them up and cut them open because he want to see her brain. Listen, go do some more research on J. Marion Sims. He would take young children while their parents were in the fields and cut their heads open to see their cranium, to see their brains, and then sew it back up. This is the man we live under. This is the man you think is your goddamn friend. This is, your, this is Bob who you're going for drinks with. This is them, who else? This is, this is old boy Kevin, who you're drinking Jägermeisters with. This is McNeely, who you're going to the damn Irish pub with. The white man is the devil, the Bible speaks of. Right. And don't let nobody tell you no goddamn different. I don't care how much he smile. I don't care how much he hug you, how much he kiss you in the mouth. He is the devil. And he deserved the vengeance of God for what he did to us. You got some more? Read. Of all the forms of inequality, injustice in health is the most shocking and the most inhumane. Read again. Of all the forms of inequality, injustice in health is the most shocking and the most inhumane. Of all, of all the forms of inequality, injustice in health and medicine is the most shocking and inhumane. And I'm going to tell you why. Because we don't gave our bodies for the advancement of your medicine. All you white people that go to the doctor, go to Kaiser Permanente. You hear them pretty ads? Kaiser Permanente, where we stay open. All them little things you got to take care of your people, my foremothers and forefathers were cut open so you could benefit today. And today, black people are the people who do not benefit from your medical health care. You too. You sacrificed our body so your children could live. No problem. When Christ come back, he'll sacrifice your bodies. He'll do it. He'll cut your heads off. He'll rip the skin from your back. And your children are going to be sold. Just like your forefathers sold my foremothers, your children are going to be sold, white man. That ain't racist. That's justice. You think it's racist. That's not racist, it's called justice. Something, something you don't know about. So I can say again, sir? This is love we do in dealing with out here. This is not hatred. This is justice. Don't you want justice? You didn't have a problem killing Bin Laden, right? Any white people feel sorry for Bin Laden? They gave him the double tap, pap, pap. Shot him, shot his damn sons. Killed him in front of his wife. You white people were swinging from the poles. I remember it. When they said we got him, what they said, Geronimo is dead. And you disgusting bastards. You called Bin Laden Geronimo when Geronimo was a native Indian who your filthy forefathers stole this land from, your filthy slut Sally. Your forefathers stole this land from Geronimo, but you called Bin Laden Geronimo. His code name was Geronimo. And when they killed him, they reported back to the White House, Geronimo is dead. You white people were swinging from the poles. Woo! You know how you scream. Woo! You start to take your clothes off and you get naked and you swing. Woo! We got him. And I applaud you, devils. Good job. Good job. Because that was justice. 
Well, guess what? When Christ come back, he gonna slaughter you. He gonna slaughter you because you are our Because you don't got nobody oppressing you. Give me some more, Pop. You don't got nobody oppressing you. But you know who our horror story is? Officer Darren Wilson of the St. Louis P Police Department who murdered Michael Brown. That's our, that's our Freddy Krueger. That's our Jason Voorhees. White people, you got to imagine somebody trying to kill you. You know what we got to do? Walk outside. Walk outside. Whoop, whoop. Yo, pull over. You're jaywalking. That's our Jason Voorhees. That's our Freddy Krueger. Say again, sir. You're loitering. What are you doing here? Where you live? Huh? Let me see some ID. No, mm -mm. you fit the description. Of what? Of what? Of who? Of what? Of anybody. Random nigga USA. Right. You, you Jim Chalman, that's you on the pat down. That's who our enemy is. Go turn to page 101. I'm gonna give you some more. I'm gonna give you some more. I'm gonna give you some more. I'm gonna give you some more black history. Medical apartheid. You white women, when you see black women, you bow to hell down and kiss their feet. You kiss the corn on their feet. You kiss the dry skin if they got it. Cause without our sisters, your vagina would be a damn tombstone. I know it dry like the desert right now. You can't even conceive children. You're adopting all the Africans out of Africa. Cause you white woman, your womb ain't good. I'm gonna tell you that out of love. Your womb is, is, is trash, it's a coffin. It's a coffin, it's a morgue. It's cold and frigid in there. That's why your man don't even want you. Your man wants another man over you. But your vaginal health comes from black women suffering on slave plantations. They tell you in this book, the blood in the barn that's where your woman's rights come from. It tells you the blood in the barn. After J. Marion Sims was done, it was like an abattoir. Anybody know what an abattoir is? It's a place where you slaughter cattle. Could you imagine the floor of an abattoir after you're done kill a cow? That's how it looked after J. Marion Sims done cut your woman open. Cut your sisters, cut your auntie, cut your mother open for fun while she screamed and shocked the entire plantation. You white woman, you bow down when you see black and Hispanic women. That's right. You bow down because they are better than you. That's right. They are better than you. They That's suffered right. so you can live. That's they right. suffered so you could be healthy. That's you right. bow to hell down, man. And you ain't got to do it now. You ain't got to do it now. A day is coming when if a white person raised their head or their eyes to black people, you gonna get whipped. That's right. And it's the kingdom of heaven run by Jesus Christ. Go ahead, film us. We ISUPK out of 1 West 125th Street, Harlem, New York, under command and journey harder. Make sure you tag us in the picture too. I want to see it. I want to see the video. I want to see it. I want to see the reaction of white people when they see their future slave masters. I want to see it. Listen, go get my lemonade, Sally. Go get it. Go get it, Sally. Go get it, Stephen. A day is coming for you devils. You are going to be slaves because you destroyed the earth. You got some more? Is it on the line? Give me the underline the part. Go, go. Read, read right here. The surgical The surgical theater. The surgical theater. Go ahead. Black bodies in the Atemblium clinic. Right? Black bodies in display called the surgical theater. You all ever see them movies, them old school movies when they're doing surgery? How they used to have them doctors up on a height? and they would be looking down like in a theater, like in the opera. Well, guess who used to be on the table when they was experimenting? Your sisters, your brothers, your sons, your daughters. This white man we live under, you might think he's good. You might think you have a little friend, Sally, that she got a black soul, but she white on the outside. I'm gonna tell you something. Sally is all devil. All devil, your little boyfriend, Brandon. Yeah, he, he likes hip hop. He knows every Tupac word. I bet he should know it. His forefathers sold Tupac's forefathers. He should know every goddamn word. A day is coming when you white people are going into slavery. And it's going to be right. It's going to be justice. The earth will rejoice when you devils are in chains. It's called the kingdom of heaven. 
That's what it's called. You see, like America is the greatest place on earth, land of the free, home of the brave. The kingdom of heaven will be called the home of white slaves. It got to have a fly name. That's right. We made white slavery popular. That's right. White slavery, That's black right. rulership. We got to get a fly catchphrase for the kingdom of heaven. Right. And let me tell you something. You white people would be better off. Because there ain't gonna be no child molestation in the kingdom. I'm gonna tell you that. Ain't no trans nothing. Transgender, transsexual, not even a transmission. We're going back to horses. <laughs> They're going to nothing in the kingdom. Your white babies could grow up without being molested. Listen, your white children, I'm gonna put them in school too. You think I'm gonna be stupid like you? I want my slaves educated so you could build me a better kingdom than America. And there ain't gonna be no crazy white people coming in school shooting it up. I'm going to cut your hands here. I'm going to cut your damn hands off. I'm going to cut it off. You white people would be better as slaves than the black people. Because we are more righteous rulers than you. You, you, can, you, are, you, are, you, know, you know what a white man is? You are a sore winner. You ever hear the phrase a sore loser? Like somebody who loses and they, they complain and they fret. White man, you won. You beat the native Indians and murdered them and stole America. You won. You're in the White House, you're going to the moon. You won, and you still got a problem. You are a sore winner. And you know what you need? You need to go into chains. You need chains, man. You need ankle bracelets. You need to walk around the plantation like brothers in the feds. They just need to shuffle. They shuffle, shuffle, and when it's child time, you go pour that little pecker into a damn trough, and you suck up whatever grub I give you. You'll be better off. Give me it, huh? This book called Medical Apartheid. Hundreds of years of history of white people doing gruesome experiments on the slaves, cutting their bodies open, ripping their organs out. Read. Sir, a 42 year old laborer on a. Say it again, read it one more time. Sir, a 42 year old laborer on a plantation in rural Alabama. Say it one more time. On a plantation. In rural Alabama. Sam. Sam was a 42-year-old laborer on a rural plantation in Alabama. Now, let me see how much you'll pick up on this. He was a 42-year-old laborer. That's it? I, 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 listen. He was a 42-year-old laborer on a plantation. What do they call laborers today? Or what work does lab do laborers do today? What do you call them? What, what define their work? Brothers who work construction, they call them laborers, unless you're the engineer. But he was a laborer in what year? Sam, a 42 year old laborer on a plantation in rural Alabama, had become exhausted by pain and fear for years and assisted racking pain in his jaw. It's going to tell you the year it was. Back then, while he was on the plantation, he was called a laborer, but he was a slave. In what? 1838. 1838. In 1838, they called him a laborer, but he was a slave. And this brother, he had a pain in his jaw, an extensive racking pain in his jaw, where he couldn't work. It said it, it hurt him in the day and he couldn't sleep at night. And it stressed him out for years, because his whole life was being a slave. Keep going. In his jaw had kept him distracted days and awake nights, miserable and dejected. When his owner learned of Sam's pain around eight... When, when his what? When his owner... His who? His owner. No, oh, I didn't say owner. I spell that word. Owner. O-W-N-E-R. Well, listen, if he was a laborer and he had an owner, he's a slave. So what are we today? Slaves. They just... You, we are laborers. We all laborers. I don't care what kind of job you have, you are laborer for the white man. And we all slaves, and they just change owner to employee. Because when you, when, to employer, to manager, to plantation, to company, to office. You know why? Because when the manager walk in, he say, this is what we are going to do today. Nigga, when, when is it turned into we? How come when I come to work, it's what we doing but when I go home, it's my bills. Shouldn't it be our bills too? If we working, then we should be paying bills. But you're a slave. So the time you leave the plantation, you're on your own. Go ahead. When his owner 
learned of Sam's pain around 1838. He decided that Sam must have syphilis. And if he, he what? He decided. He decided. He didn't take Sam to a doctor. He said this nigga here, he got syphilis. Just like today. They just say anything. They say anything about black people. That's your white people, man. That's America. That's the history of this country you love and you serve and you give your soul and your spirit to and you raise your children up to love. Half of y'all scared to tell your child sit down during the national anthem. Half of y'all scared that, listen, it ain't against the law not to sing the anthem. It's a goddamn song and the flag is a piece of cloth. Why are you teaching your child to revere a piece of cloth like it's God? Don't you know that's idol worship? Time for you to raise stronger children, man. Raise stronger young boys and girls. Listen, the white man is raising a hell of a young boy and girl. Don't you see them on the mall last month? Covington High School? Didn't you see how they all came together? They didn't, listen, they didn't need nobody to tell them to come together. They all came together under that MAGA hat. Black man, we short. We short. They the devil and racist as hell and they got more unity than us. They got more unity and more metal and more strength than us. Time to raise your young children to learn that the white man is the devil. You got little toddlers, don't teach them mama and dad at first. Let them learn that when they fall. Let their first word be, the white man is the devil the Bible speaks of. Let all every toddler, let his first word be, the white man is the devil everybody the Bible speaks of. Their first word. Teach them, listen, teach them the alphabet. Don't teach them the first letter is A. Teach them the first letter is T. The second letter is H and E. Then D, the W H I T. The white man is the devil the Bible speaks of. Pound that into your children's head. Because our future depends on it. Read. He decided that Sam must have syphilis and applied a homemade concoction. Applied a homemade concoction, just like a dog. You got a dog with something, you, you, you can't afford to take him to the vet, you just do any old thing because it's a dog. That's what this man did to a 42 year old brother who done served him his whole life with no compassion, just like you white devils have. Absolutely no compassion. That's why Trump is, is what? Separating families and keeping young children on the border in the heat of the day and the cold of the night and don't give a damn when young children die. Don't care. Listen, white man, a day is coming when we are going to mail your children into slavery. We're going to wrap your little blue-eyed, big-headed, gerba baby, ugly baby in a box and send them to another plantation because that's what you do to us. You're doing it to the Hispanics right now. Hispanics are dying on the border right now and you don't care. Well, listen, when Christ come back, we ain't gonna care. When Christ comes back and that man who's the most powerful man on the earth says, bring the little white baby here, put him in a box, put two holes in it so he can breathe, mail him to damn Australia. You gonna cry, but in that day, your arms gonna be short. Your arms gonna be too short because, you listen, you done violated the children of God. Read. Whose only effect was to produce a painful boil on Sam's gums. The only, the only effect of that homemade concoction made Sam get a big boil on his gums. It tells you he couldn't even eat after that. Huge boil. And meanwhile, this brother's jaw is hurting him so much he couldn't even sleep. But he gotta get up the next day and pick cotton though. He gotta move the horses. He gotta be a laborer for this devil. Keep reading. Now Sam also found it difficult to eat. Say it again. Now Sam also found it difficult to eat. The scripture says Sam also found it, the, the, the book says Sam also found it difficult to eat. Go ahead. He should have been a strong, productive worker in the prime of his earning power. Say it again. He should have been a strong, productive worker in the prime of his earning power. The, the, the book said Sam should have been a strong, productive worker in the prime of his earning power. You see how the white man look at us? Like this brother can't eat because he's injured. And now you look, you saying, listen man, he's costing me money. He should have been a strong productive worker in the time of his what? In the time of, of the prime of his earning power. In the prime of his earning power. That letting you know that Sam was a slave. 
But Sam was finding it harder and harder to work. Say it again. But Sam was finding it harder and harder to work. But Sam found it harder and harder to work. It was more difficult for him to work. That's, a, that's an older brother, man. You done beat him up for 40 something years of his life, whipped him, make him think it was normal, and now he's injured and you made it worse. Even in the face of cajoling and threats. Even in the face of cajoling and threats. Meaning what? They would come to him one day and say, Sam, you're a good worker, man. We need you out there, Sam. You make it happen for us. And when that didn't work, they would threaten him. They would say, Sam, listen, I broke, I broke one toe. Don't make me break the rest, Sam. Don't make me do that to you. See what you made me do? You see what you made me do, Sam? You, you made me do this to you. I didn't want to do it, Sam. That's what the white man does to us till this day. All you devils, you go into pain, man. You going into slavery. You can go enjoy America, enjoy your life, and enjoy your damn checks and your money. Go drink tonight. Listen, have a beer on me. Have a beer on me. Come back here next week and tell me where you had the beer. I'll go pay the tab. Because I want you to enjoy now so you can cry later. Enjoy it good. I want tears later. I want, listen, I'm going to get a good handmade cup with ice from Iceland to drink the tears in that day. I'm gonna be, that's gonna be a prime drink. I'm gonna have a sports bar where white people do all kind of dumb games for my entertainment. Like you have us doing dumb games for yours. And guess what I'm, guess what's going to be $25,000 a glass? Or, 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 or 10, 10 pounds of gold? Authentic white tears. It's gonna be the top shelf. You, you serving us Johnny Walker and Cavorsi here today? I'm gonna serve you white tears on ice. <laughs> it's gonna be an distinguished drink. <laughs> Listen, and baby tears are double. <laughs> but by 1845, he had become worthless in the fields. By 1845, this brother had become worthless in the field. By 1845, he could not work anymore. He was so jammed up. Keep reading. And in desperation, his owner summoned a physician. And in desperation, because he's losing this prime slave, his owner called a physician. Go ahead. Who determined that Sam was suffering not from syphilis. That what? Who determined that Sam was, was suffering not from syphilis. Now listen, this brother done served seven more years. And his owner saying he got syphilis. Because of course, we just get diseases, right? Just like the Mexicans bring all the drugs in and they're full of rape, just like that, right? See, you see the rhetoric? Come to find out this brother don't have syphilis, read. But from osteosarcoma. Which is what? A cancer of his lower jawbone. This brother had cancer setting in his jaw over all those years. And had become painful for him to even move. And the throbbing. Gave him headaches, he couldn't even sleep. He couldn't even eat no more. Read. The doctor turned to a surgical colleague, uh -huh. Dr. Marion J. Sim. There's that bastard name one more time. The doctor turned around to his friend. What's his friend name? Dr. Marion J. Sims. Listen, man, you go home tonight and you Google Dr. Marion J. Sims. And you make your children read it. You brothers, and you ain't got no children, you got a woman? Make her read it. Make her read about the history of this white devil. This slave owner, he called Marion Sims in to operate on this brother. Go ahead. Who declared to Sam's owner that only an operation carried hope of a cure. And only an operation carried hope of a cure. Now you think Marion Sims was interested in helping this brother out? Nah. Marion Sims was interested in cutting him open to see how things work. And that's what he did. That's what he's did. These white people, man, America got a history of blood and violence against the children of Israel. Against the 12 tribes of Israel, you blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians, you the 12 tribes of Israel. You God's chosen people. You're not, you're not Puerto Rican, you're not Brazilian, you're not Jamaican, you certainly ain't an African American. What the hell is that? You ain't El Salvadorian, you're not Honduran. You're the 12 tribes of Israel. You God's chosen people. You're the real Jews of the Bible. Drop dead, devil. Drop dead. Go home and get cancer. I hope you don't bleed for a year and then your whole body turn purple and black 
because your womb is infected, you filthy dog, you filthy dog, you wretched cockroach. You got the nerve to come up here and say a goddamn thing after your forefathers done murdered mine, stole this land, walking up and down DC on the bones of the native Indians. And yet still you got a problem with what we say? You lucky we just talking. You should thank God that we are just talking. Because if you did this to any other nation, they would be killing you in the streets. These Africans would be killing you in the streets. These Chinese, these Japanese. Listen, the Arab man killing you already. You better be grateful to God that black, Hispanics, and native Indians are only talking about slavery. You better thank God every night because what you did to us was the crime of all history. Of all history. J. Marion Sims is a filthy, disgusting devil. And Pfizer Drug Company made him one of their CEOs when they were just starting up in New York. You go outside that Pfizer headquarters, they got a statue of his head honoring him, saying he is the father of modern medicine. He is Satan in the flesh. That's who he is. Just like every one of you devils. Satan in the flesh because of what you did to blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians. I know it's shocking to hear, especially on Friday. You trying to enjoy America, go up to the Irish pub, go across the street and drink a beer. I said it before, go have a beer on me, I'll pay for it. Tell him I'll pay for it. I want you to enjoy America now because your future is full of slavery. It's full of slavery. You know I'm talking the truth, right? I know you're not in your head. You understand that, right? You understand that white people got something to pay for. Is that right? Give that, give that white man a hand. He is an honest white man. I, I, I hope you're not putting me on. I hope you're not just saying it just to appear righteous. No, don't pull him away. He's honest. He's honest. You don't understand what your people did to us. That's why you're pulling him away. Yes, sir. I, I got to ask you a question because I often wonder this and I know that older white people know this. The older white people, you are the ones that's walking around. The reason why the older white people try to be standoffish because back in the 50s and 60s, you were the ones that were sicking the dogs on us, putting the water hoses on us. If, we, if you rolled back, if we knew your age and we rolled it back, you white people that's walking around in your 70s and 80s right now, you were the ones that was lynching us, putting the dogs on us, putting the water hoses on us, and totally oppressing black people. Am I right? Am I right? Okay, hold on, that's good. Because I want to hear what your, your thoughts are. The Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge under commanding General Yohanna presents the Big 5 -0. Oh, oh, oh. The 50th Annual Lord's Passover, Saturday, April 20th at sundown. Lord's Passover, Saturday, April 20th at sundown. 